independent. That is our device type today we're going to be using. You can also use compact flashcard. Once we have that in, we will need to select the teach mode. And now we need to ensure our security level. We do this by selecting the system info icon, then security, and it'll present the drop down. We'll select management, eight nines into the password field, and then enter gets us to management level. Next, we're going to arrow to the right-hand side of the main menu, which displays other icons. We'll want to select external memory. Now, we'll need to select our device, which is USB. It's already selected, but you can see the, the structure of the different options you have, so we'll reselect that. And now, we'll go back to the external memory. And then we'll select save. Inside of this icon there are three file types we won't be using because they are not needed to restore the system. And they are batch user memory, batch CMOS, and all CMOS. So we'll start with our jobs. Select the job. We only have two in there, but the quickest way is edit, select all. Now that they're selected, enter. Ask you to save, yes. Then saved. Next we'll go to file, general data, select. Once again, edit, select all, enter. Yes. Next, we will capture the parameter, edit, select all, enter, yes. The all.prm actually captures all of your parameters for reference. Next, the IO data. Select that. Edit select all. Enter. Yes. Next, we'll capture the system data. Edit, select all. Enter. Just a side note, the robot calibration data is not highlighted because there isn't any robot calibration data in this instance. Enter. Yes. And this concludes our backing up of the individual files. You can see them all listed of how many files per file type they're inside that we have saved. Thank you.